Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collect Car Showroom. Where we own all of our vehicles, we are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hanksters.com. There is where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we never take down. Between both of our locations, we leave them up for our thousands of subscribers to watch. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that particular unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it is no longer available. We are pleased here in Daytona Beach at Hanksters to uh, welcome our, an addition to our uh, little family down here. We have Hanksters Garage, website hanksterscarage.com. We will be selling and installing automotive accessories, interior components, vintage air systems, different lift kits, wheel and tire packages. Uh, so check that out. You can order online um, and have parts shipped to you, or you can also um, you know, visit us at 2385 South Ridgewood in person in Daytona Beach and uh, get an estimate to have your uh, car, truck, SUV uh, modified, hot rodded, uh, interior change out, vintage air system added, whatever uh, it is that you're in the market for. Uh, we could probably help you out when it comes to uh, automotive accessories and upgrades. So check that out as well. Today we have a cool uh, little uh, pickup truck for you, a Volkswagen 1986. Uh, generally we are accustomed to starting out in the uh, front of the vehicle and then going down the uh, driver's side of the car or truck. Uh, today we're starting out obviously in the rear because you have a rear engine compartment. So it is a Brazilian made motor, 1300 cc. Uh, obviously in the rear, underneath the bed of the truck, you can see the engine compartment's nice and clean, uh, nice and detailed, uh, paint looks good, the components look good. So let's have a uh, little closer look at our, uh, at our pickup truck. Um, paint on the thing is fantastic uh, all the way around. I, I did do a walk around prior to our video presentation here. There's only two small problematic areas I'll show you. However, the, uh, uh, obviously you're looking at the rear of the truck, engine compartment area, uh, brake lights, tail lights, reverse lights, uh, bumper in the back, everything uh, on the vehicle is in real, real nice condition from a paint standpoint. Uh, let's look at the passenger side first. Uh, bedside um, looks great. Uh, I will try to attempt to uh, pull out some uh, pins here. Now both sides do this. Both sides are in the same condition. I'm only going to drop one side uh, just to show you. Uh, the bed sides do fold down. Okay, and you can see the paint on the uh, back side of the bed sides nice. Uh, the paint, you know, here uh, where the uh, bedside closes up is in nice condition. Uh, whoever built the vehicle uh, put some uh, wooden slats here to uh, minimize, uh, the, you know, scraping on the bed or whatever. So um, those are uh, those are in there. Uh, you can see the uh, rear uh, tailgate area and uh, the other uh, portion on the driver's side. The uh, drop down of the bedside uh, is also in good shape and the uh, back of the uh, bed here where it uh, butts up to the, uh, the rear of the truck. Put it back up, latch the uh, handle there. I'll stick my little pin back through. Okay, so uh, filler uh, locking gas cap on this side. Uh, this truck does have a rear seat, so uh, you have a rear door. You can only access the rear seat uh, from the outside, from the passenger side. Um, so we will take a look at that. Uh, interior in the truck looks to be uh, newer. Uh, it's a real nice color combination, the white with the blue. Uh, the uh, carpeting's in nice shape. You can see uh, it has seat belts back there. Uh, windows look to be in good condition along with the window seals. Um, real, real nice. Uh, it does have the rollback uh, convertible top there, or uh, sunroof, whichever you would like to call it. Uh, so we will display that for you on the test drive as well. Uh, passenger side front, uh, same thing. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have any documentation on this vehicle. You know, uh, how many miles are on the motor, how many miles are on the actual vehicle, when the uh, interior was put in, when the paint was done. Um, I can tell you somebody spent some good money on the vehicle. It is in real nice condition. 
Uh, you can see the interior obviously looks newer. Um, same thing with the uh, carpet down there that's in the floor area. Uh, they did a really nice job here encompassing the, uh, uh, the foot area, pedal area there with the uh, same blue and beige uh, as in the interior. Dash components uh, all look real nice. Glove box, steering wheel, dash pad all look to be in real good condition. Door panel. Uh, you know, this is nicely done. Uh, the uh, in insert here in the blue and then, of course, the, uh, the top and the uh, bottom of the door panel be in that beige color and you have a uh, black plastic armrest. Uh, crank windows. Good looking, good looking vehicle on the inside. So uh, taking a step back from the uh, vehicle. Oh, there was a... I think there was a paint problem on this side somewhere. It's so minuscule that I don't even know if I can see it. But oh, here it is. There's a crack in the paint right there on the uh, dry, or on passenger side door right there. Uh, but the rest of the uh, paint on the vehicle, the uh, body lines, the door fitment, um, everything looks real nice all down the passenger side of the uh, of the pickup truck. Take a look at the uh, front of the vehicle, uh, the VW logo there in the center, of course. Uh, real good condition on the chrome. Um, headlights have good clarity. The uh, driver side, passenger side. Front bumper, same as the rear bumper. The paint on it looks good. Um, there are some faint scratches in the front windshield, maybe due to an old set of wiper blades or something like that. Um, so there are some faint scratches in the windshield. Uh, molding around the front windshield looks to be in good condition. Uh, there's two holes there uh, that are not being utilized right now. That is for an antenna. Uh, we do have an antenna for the vehicle. I'm not putting it on there, but um, that's what the holes are for there in the front. Uh, your drip rails look to be in real nice shape. Uh, uh, driver's side window glass, again, has some faint scratching from rolling the window up and down. Um, but uh, overall in pretty good condition. Uh, driver door, paint, nice shape. Uh, door fitment, real nice. Uh, wheels are in pretty good condition. You can see uh, close-ups of those on the website. We do have uh, close-up still photos of the wheels. Uh, dual mirrors, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. They are just like a matte black finish. We'll take a look inside the uh, driver's portion of the vehicle. Again, the uh, door panel's in great shape. Uh, interior looks to be newer. All the carpet in the vehicle uh, is in pretty nice condition. That uh, tan and blue offset, real nice colors here for uh, the state of Florida. Real nice looking vehicle. Again, you got the crank back uh, sunroof there. We will take a uh, look at that when we're inside the vehicle doing a test drive. Uh, both doors open and close with ease, no issues there. Uh, rear window has pretty good clarity here on the driver's side. Uh, paint starting at the top, going all the way to the bottom. There's only one uh, issue. There's a, a small crack right there. It is very faint, uh, barely noticeable, but it is there uh, once you get close to the vehicle. Hopefully you can see that in the uh, camera shot. It's, it's not bad, um, not bad at all. Uh, bedside on the driver's side, same as the passenger side. Paint's real nice, uh, no problems there. Uh, that, again, that drops down just like the passenger side did, and it's of the same quality as the passenger side, so uh, we won't uh, go in, get into that. Uh, clarity of the rear window glass is pretty nice, too. A lot of the glass looks to me, uh, in my opinion, to be original. Uh, you can see some faint scratching in the, uh, in the glass portions, but uh, somebody's, uh, somebody's invested a lot of money into the vehicle, so... Really, uh, really nice rig. Don't just take my word for it. I encourage you guys to visit Hankster's Hot Rods. We have a beautiful 25,000 square foot indoor showroom where we house 60 to 70 cars at any given time, all of which we own. Uh, we would love to show you our business operation here in Daytona. We'd love to have you down or up or wherever you might be flying in or driving in from. Uh, we'd be happy to show you this 1986 Volkswagen uh, van. We'll let you uh, take it outside, look at the paint real good in the Florida sunshine. We'll let you uh, put it on a rack like we're going to do here in just a couple minutes. We will let you drive it. You can see how the vehicle uh, shifts, starts, stops, steers, all that stuff. 
Uh, these are old vehicles, some of them, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. Uh, they're going to have their flaws, their tendencies, their weaknesses, deficiencies. However, they're fun to own, they're fun to buy, they're fun to sell. You get a lot of thumbs up, uh, honks on the road, you know, honking, honking horns. Conversations at the gas station or the car show or at the local restaurant. Um, so very, a lot of nostalgia with these old cars, a, a lot of conversation, a lot of memories for a lot of people. So it's a fun business to be in. It's a fun hobby to participate in. Um, but, uh, you know, they're old cars. They're going to have, uh, they're going to have flaws. So if you visit our Daytona Beach showroom, you'll be able to see that in person. I try to show you, we try to show you as much in a 20 to 25 minute video presentation as we possibly can. However, I could spend two hours going over this thing and, and nitpicking every last uh, detail. I point out some strong features, some strong suits and some weaknesses um, with the car, truck, SUV, whatever it is we are presenting. Um, and then it's up to you whether, you, whether you come in person or whether you buy sight unseen. Most of our buyers continue to buy sight unseen. I'm a sight unseen buyer. I rarely go to the store. I, I buy out, do pretty much 98% of my shopping online, so I get it. Um, but again, we are in the classic car business. Um, they're going to have issues. <laughs> so uh, just be aware of that. Um, we'd love to show you this uh, 86 truck or any other piece of our inventory we might be interested in if you visit our Daytona showroom. Let's take it around back. We'll see which lift is open out there. We'll throw it in the air and we'll check out what the undercarriage looks like. Underneath our 1986 VW pickup truck, um, it's, I don't have the uh, ceiling height in here that I need to get this thing all the way up in the air, so it's down a little bit. Um, I did a walk underneath it about three or four times, um, and uh, so we'll give you the video presentation for, or for what I can see here and what I know uh, throughout the uh, undercarriage of the video, uh, undercarriage of the truck. So you do have front disc brakes. Uh, you can see here underneath like where the driver's seat would be is your brake booster, your power brake booster. Um, power brakes, uh, disc brakes up front on the uh, van. All the suspension components look good. Frame rails on the truck look to be in good condition. You can see that all the way back throughout the entire length of the vehicle. Floor pans are fantastic. Uh, no holes, no patches, no silicone. Uh, nice and solid throughout the entire uh, vehicle. Of course, I did not show you motor and transmission up front because they are mounted in the rear of this vehicle, as we uh, showed you in the showroom. <clears throat> now, uh, on the VWs, uh, there are oh, drum brakes in the rear, by the way. Um, so in the VWs, you know, the, we, we, we run quite a few through here. They have a tendency to want to leak from the uh, valve covers. Uh, these are nice and dry. Uh, rear main seals, sometimes an issue if they sit for an extended period of time. Uh, this one is dry, it's not leaking, uh, so that's a good thing. Bottom of the motor is dry, uh, bottom of the transmission looks to be good, all your tranny linkage looks to be in good shape. Um, so there is uh, two little uh, tabs here on the exhaust, one right there and one right there. It's in the same spot on both sides. Uh, no holes, nothing's leaking. Uh, maybe something was mounted there at one time, I don't know. Uh, but the exhaust system itself is in, is in good shape. Uh, mufflers. Uh, your tires still have your little nubbies on them. Uh, not dry rotted between the treads. Uh, plenty of uh, wear till you get down to the wear bars. So uh, that's in good shape. 1986 uh, VW pickup truck. We are going to uh, drop it down on the ground here and we are going to take it out on a short little test drive. Before we do that, let's discuss your payment options. If you are a cash buyer, uh, we can physically take cash from you. I do still have people bring us cash from time to time in the showroom. Uh, more commonly though, it's a cashier's check from your bank or bank wire transfer. If you're financing the collector car lenders we work with, we'll do up to a 10 year loan on our vehicles. That doesn't mean they'll approve 10 years on every car. It has to do with your uh, credit score, debt to income ratio, price of the vehicle, like they won't go 10 years on a $20,000 vehicle, it's got to be 50 grand or more. Um, so, you know, usually approvals fall into a five to 10 year period. 10% down minimum of the purchase price. So if the vehicle's 50 grand, you got to put down five. Uh, you can do more if you'd like to, but they require you put a minimum of 10%. Once the uh, vehicle is funded, whether you're cash or whether you're financing, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. We uh, check lug nut torque, check 
tire pressure, uh, you know, check all lights. They're old cars, old trucks. You know, we can lose reverse lights, tail lights, uh, headlights. You never know. So we do one final check, everything, make sure nothing's leaking, make sure everything's buttoned up nice and tight. Um, and then once the guys tell me it's ready to go, we call a carrier for pickup if we are the ones handling the shipping. Typically, we can have a truck here within 48 hours. Um, sometimes it could take longer if you're maybe on the West Coast, at, you know, one run leave in Florida a week. Um, or maybe you're in a more rural or remote area where there's not as many drivers going. It might take three, four, five days to get the car or truck picked up, SUV picked up. But I promise you, I know you're excited to get your vehicle. We're excited to sell it to you. We work quickly. We will get you your vehicle as soon as we possibly can. Let's set this 86 uh, VW pickup truck on the ground. We'll take it out on a short little test drive. It's a beautiful day today. It's hot, but uh, I like it hot. So uh, we're gonna take this uh, truck out on the test drive and see how it runs. Inside of our 86 VW pickup truck, horn. Um, turn signal indicator is the same for the driver as it is for the passenger. So driver, passenger. I don't know if you can see it with the sun glare. I'm trying to shade it for you. 57,302 is the mileage on the odometer. Title reads exempt, true mileage unknown. Radio does not even turn on. It looks like a new radio, but we don't mess with radios. Uh, so it won't work when you get the van or truck. E-brake, um, shift pattern. Um, fuel gauge is reading full and it is full because we always uh, put gas in them when we get them. And, uh, it's full. Uh, wipers. Sunroof. Just pop it and push it backwards. Okay, it'll. And then there's a little wind guard here. Flips up. It is probably about 110 in Daytona today. So we'll. Well, with the humidity, of course. So we're gonna close that because I already turned on the air conditioning. Um, high beams, low beams, uh, there's a battery light, oil light, neither one of those are lit up. Um, we're idling nicely, uh, the vehicle runs nice. We'll uh, take it on a little test drive here and we'll run it through a couple gears and show you how the vehicle drives. Inside of our 86 VW pickup truck, uh, speedometer's working except it's in kilometers, so I'm just guessing how fast we're going. I don't know the math off the top of my head and there's no miles per hour on the inside. Uh, got a little bit of work to do on the steering. The uh, steering is a little loose, has a little play in the wheel. However, the vehicle rides nice. I mean, it tracks nice and straight. Um, there's no vibrations in the uh, motor and the transmission and the uh, tires and the, none of that stuff. It, it rides nicely, nice and smooth. It idles nicely, it shifts nicely. Got a little bit of a, you know, horizontal pattern there, or, you know, I guess sideways pattern. Um, on the shifter so you got to make sure you know i'm used to one two three four you know this one you got to kind of go at an angle so it's kind of different but once you get used to it it's not too bad it stops nicely too um there's no vibrations in the brakes uh, pulsation anything like that here we are coming to a traffic light no hands on the wheel stopping perfectly straight and it's uh it's nothing to uh you know get it to stop it stops just like a just like a brand new car would I think I need to lube my clutch pedal there's a little squeak coming up off the clutch Didn't do it that time. But it runs through the gears nice and smooth. Uh, drives nicely. I don't know, we're probably 45, 50 right now. No hands. Thing rides nice. We've been doing well with Volkswagens. Uh, vans, trucks. Uh, we sell a lot of dune buggies. Uh, a couple of nice beetles we had through the showroom, so we're becoming pretty familiar with them now. Uh, you know, the motors, the, the different parts, how to get parts, 
how to fix them, how to tune them correctly, how to adjust carbs correctly. So we've uh, gotten gotten pretty good. So it's a pretty nice little unit. A uh, real nice interior, nice paint, nice solid undercarriage. Um, you know, nice color combination, especially when you're when you're down here in, in Florida. You know, this is a kind of popular color down here in Florida. But uh, come to a traffic light here, and we'll show you that we're not stalling out. We're not spitting, sputtering, anything like that. Idled nicely. I'm gonna try to pull up, so I'm not trying to over talk over this motorcycle. Cool truck, I like it. And the back seat's cool. Hey, I forgot to show you guys in the showroom. I wish I would've showed you there's this cool compartment underneath the back seat. You could literally almost cram two bodies back there. It's big. This could be your uh, party van. You put all the adult beverages in the back. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. We're gonna put all the photos up of this truck today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, this vehicle does include shipping in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a powertrain warranty. This warranty is good at any ASE certified facility in the United States, although Volkswagens are kind of a different breed, so you might wanna take it to somebody who knows about Volkswagens. Um, so at full retail price, you get shipping on an enclosed carrier and you get the uh, powertrain warranty. Is the price of the truck negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the truck, the, uh, the warranty comes off. Warranty's good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. We can put you in touch with somebody that can handle the shipping for you. However, you will pay the driver on delivery with cash or with a check. They do not accept credit cards. Also, if you maybe uh, you're a collector, you have your own opener and closed trailer, you want to come trailer this uh, truck home, you can certainly do that. And then if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, Central Florida, maybe you're in Orlando, Jacksonville, uh, you know, Melbourne, St. Augustine, you can come. Uh, Drive this beautiful 1986 VW uh, truck home. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing base of customers, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Yes, we do also export these cars, and we can handle that entire process for you as well. Hangsters Hot Rod is located in sunny Daytona Beach, Florida, and our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.